Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I'm an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make these videos here on my channel, Watch Barbara Knit. If you would like to know more about my patterns, please check in the description below and you will find a link to my Ravelry store where you can browse my patterns. And if you want to get an electronic PDF with the instructions for you to make one of my patterns yourself, that's where you can get it. But you're going to want to really look in the description below today because there's going to be a lot of information there. I am starting a new monthly series. It's going to be the second Thursday of every month. And I'm going to call it my uh, five fave or fave five. I haven't decided which order it's going to go in. But what I'm going to do is every month I'm going to pick a theme and come up with five patterns that I think really fit into that theme that I can say, hey, aren't these super cool patterns? Now, the big thing is um, there'll usually be six patterns because what it is is I'm gonna find five patterns that are by other designers because, hey, I don't just wanna you know, tell you about my stuff. And then if one of my patterns fits the theme, then I will you know, sneak that in at the end. But I will not like restrict myself to only themes that I fit because so much knitting and on the plus side, I get to look at really awesome projects on Ravelry. So the theme for today is my favorite five patterns that work great with super variegated yarn, also known very affectionately as clown barf. <laughs> so, and yes, I said clown barf. So super variegated yarns are fabulous, but it's often challenging to find a pattern that works well with them. I have some like this beautiful skein of Malabrigo, or look at this, something with real high contrast. This is gorgeous from Dragonfly. And then I don't even have a label for this, but how beautiful is that? These variegated yarns, when you knit with them, they can pool and they can do funny things. And so it's sometimes hard to find a pattern. But I went through and found patterns that are some of the tricks. Now, this video could have totally been five favorite shawls for variegated yarn, but I restricted myself to only two shawls because I could have just done all shawls because you guys know I love shawls. And if you want to see a follow up that's just shawls, let me know in the comments below and I can do that. So the first pattern I want to show you is, um, and I might slaughter the names of these, Vittorio, V-I-T-T-O-R-I-O -T -T -O by Karina Ferguson. And this one is just a showstopper. If you have a challenging skein, and it works with one skein of yarn, of variegated yarn, this, this shawl is amazing. It's worked from side to side. So it's flexible in your yardage that you're going to use. You pretty much just knit until you've done, you're increasing until you've like gotten through half of your yarn and then you start decreasing and you're good to go. So it's an incredibly flexible pattern and it's just beautiful. And the little bit of lace in here, what it's doing is creating these chevrons. And that is what's moving your variegated yarn around. And the fact that the rows are getting smaller and larger is gonna play with your pooling and make it pull differently. So it really sets it up great. So that's Vittorio by Karina Ferguson. Now, this next one, let's go to a hat. This is, <laughs> I don't know what's up with these names. I can't pronounce them. Circumvolete? Mm, I don't know. This is by Hunter Hammerson. And this makes use of another fantastic trick. So if you're looking at patterns and trying to decide if they're going to work with variegated yarn, slip stitches. Slip stitches really help move things. And um, that is what we have going on here is this angle that she has that wraps around and you got to click through to the Ravelry page because that top of this hat is amazing. Now this is specifically in speckle yarn, but it would work really well in a super variegated yarn too. Um, you don't want to pick out a pattern that has 
too much detail work going on because it's really going to get lost in the variegation. So you don't want all your work to go to waste. So again, this is Circumbulete. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it, by Hunter, and it is a beautiful, fun hat. In the same vein as that, again, with the slip stitches, this is Merope by Jen Lucas, and these are great. Look at these mitts. The texture on them is amazing, and again, you're working with the slipped stitches, and what that's going to do is move your variegation around and um, alleviate pooling issues because you're stretching that yarn across other yarns and moving it and it keeps everything going. And look at me. And I think these are a really great, would be a great choice for, um, I'm not sure what weight it is, but a heavier weight yarn if you have a nice variegated and a heavier weight yarn. And this, um, I believe these are in her book, uh, stash busting knits or cozy stash i will put that in the description below with the name of this but i think these would look fabulous in a variegated yarn now the other trick that you can look for in variegated taming patterns is striping with another color because just all variegated all the time can get really really overwhelming and when you pull in a stripe of a solid color, it'll break it up, but still allow your variegated to shine. So here's a second shawl. This is Mor Mormorio by Heather Zapetti. <laughs> Everybody wants me to not be able to pronounce stuff. And I really, again, it's another side to side shawl. And you can see she striped it with a, a, a pale gray and she's got that variegation striping and you see how it really breaks it up. And then I love the pop of lace along the bottom in the solid color because again, it serves to make it not, the variegation not completely overwhelming. A little bit of lace snuck in is always a plus for me. Um, and this is a bigger piece because you have two skeins of yarn that you're working with. So Vittorio is like a one skeiner and this one is a two skeiner. Again, a beautiful shawl. And then finally, this is, I just love this piece. This is Crew by Lee Meredith. And it is an amazingly inventive uh, way of dealing with variegation. And again, she's striping it with a solid gray, which tones it down, but she's got slip stitches and drop stitches and all these different textures. And so there's a lot going on here, but it really, it just beautifully allows the, the colors to shine. I And with those little pops, I think this is a fantastic cowl. And it's, um, since it's so airy, it's going to be more of a multi-season garment. So I think that this crew by Lee Meredith is super cool. So those are my fave five at this very moment. You know what? Something could be uploaded to Ravelry tomorrow and just go to the top. But right now, if you are looking for a pattern for some crazy variegated yarn you have, those would be the five that I would recommend. And to as a little bonus, I wanted to show you guys one of my pieces. This is the Roller Coaster Cowl. And it uses another set of techniques. Again, it's with the fabric manipulation. This has what's called a tuck or a lifted stitch. So what you're doing is slipping stitches with the yarn held in front, and then you reach down and grab it and pull it up and it buckles the fabric. You can see it's got deep texture. And what it is, you have to have a pattern that is aggressive enough to stand up. It's, it's got to have a lot of boldness to stand up to the variegation. Now I have this in a solid, so you can see, and you can see the texture better, obviously, in the solid. So you can see how much is going on there, but the var it really breaks up the pooling. So this is Roller Coaster Cowl. It takes one skein of fingering weight yarn. And that is my offering for, and you can see how smooshy it is. It's great. So don't quit loving your variegated yarns. Variegated yarns are awesome. It brings great color into your life. And if you know the few tricks 
and what to look for, you can make sure that your pattern and your yarn are gonna play together great. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified whenever I upload a new video to my YouTube channel, please subscribe, select notifications. Thank you so much.